So before we even start, I don't know if you peeped, whether you're new or you're not new, but I'm almost at 300,000 subscribers. So if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, I'm gonna need you to do that. Hey guys, what's up, what it do? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Casey and if you are new, you already heard what I said, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm almost at 300K and it would mean the world to me if you just hit that red button. And you might as well click that bell button so you don't miss when I post a new video. So today I'm hoping to bring some positivity and some light because 2020 has been 2020 has been literally a roller coaster, I think, for all of us. All of us have been affected by the events of 2020 in different ways. Some of us in traumatic ways, some of us in less traumatic ways, but either way, we're all affected. We're all feeling the heat from everything that 2020 is bringing us. So on my Instagram, um, about two days ago, I asked you guys to send me a bunch of good things that have happened to you this year. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing some of the positivity that I received. I was so happy reading them. It just goes to show that even through the storm, we can still achieve and accomplish so much. And we can still be grateful for the things that we have. Also, I don't know if you guys have peeped, but my skin is getting so much better. If you're new, um, I just went through this whole thing where I severely sensitized my skin from over exfoliating. It was dry, it was irritated, it was just a mess. And honestly, I've learned a lot about skincare through this journey, so I'm not upset. I was able to course correct some things that I was doing wrong in my skincare, like previously. My skin is still not like completely where it was or where I want it to be, but the progress is amazing. I've gotten a lot of tips through you guys. I've talked to estheticians. So for the past two months or so, I have been doing a a very limited skincare routine. I wasn't using any products with fragrance, no products with exfoliating properties, no actives, no AHAs, no BHAs, none of it, just to kind of give my skin a break. But now I feel like my skin is at a point where I can start incorporating some exfoliating into my routine with caution and with some heightened awareness around the hydration I'm putting back into my skin because that was the biggest problem I had before. I was over exfoliating and not putting hydration back and so that just dehydrated my skin it made it look so dull my like I said my barrier was all out of whack I was breaking out it was just the worst so today's um skincare pamper session is going to be kind of inspired by LA Beautyologist she did a video where she does a like estheticians approved self-care video and the purpose of this routine and the order that she applies her products is to help with the absorption of hydration so let's go ahead and jump right into it I even had my skincare fridge back here because I love to apply my skincare products cooled so I was like I might as well just bring the whole fridge in here <laughs> we're gonna start off with cleansing and I'm also going to steam I only steam my skin maybe one to two times a week I have my dr. Dennis gross steamer here I've already put the water inside so I'm just gonna turn it on so we can start getting that steam going for this specific um, like skincare routine it's really important to use a gentle and hydrating cleanser because we're going to be doing a lot um, exfoliating toning and all that stuff so I have really been loving this new Paracon MD hypoallergenic CBD sensitive skin therapy gentle cleanser geez that is such a long name they sent this to me and I've been using it now for like the past two weeks just to try it out and see and I really like it it is super thick creamy and of course it doesn't have fragrance or synthetics or anything okay so while we cleanse and steam i'm going to go through and find some positivity to share also i'm so sorry if i pronounce your instagram names wrong okay so this first one says hubby and i are on second pregnancy and buying a new house oh my god that's so good congrats this next one says i'm in good health despite pandemic same here. That's something that I'm definitely grateful for every day because, I mean, people are just catching it and losing their lives so easily. And I'm just grateful to be able to stay home and still work and make money and be in good health. That's a good example of just being grateful for what we have, you know? 2020 made me realize I didn't want to be a nurse. I realized how much I love being a creative. I feel like a lot of people, like being forced to stay inside, we have like had revelations of the things that we really want i feel like before when we were always going back and forth with life and just trying to get things done it was so easy to just get used to the swing of things and get comfortable 
and i'm so happy that so many people are now like just realizing what they really want out of life this next one says i grew spiritually meditation and journaling is a regular practice for me now this is something that i am so inspired by because i haven't been able to get into a good spirituality routine the way that i've wanted to being stuck inside for so long so i'm happy that you were able to do that congrats my sephora squad says Alyssa says sephora squad <laughs> honestly sephora squad was a big blessing for me as well because i didn't know if the pandemic was going to affect like the sponsorships that i would get and how much i'd be working but with the sephora squad it's like it's guaranteed money for us so it's really good and on top of that we're just being exposed to so many new things so many new people um i feel like i have a whole little crew now that i can go to when i have questions and that are doing the same things that i'm doing so i feel you on that okay i'm gonna go rinse off this cleanser and i'll come right back to read some more okay so i just rinsed off my skin i'm not going to dry it i'm going to go straight into my toner now in this routine there's a lot of toning and the purpose of this is to help increase the absorption of the product there's tons of different ways to tone there's tons of different types of toners but i love that in la beautyologist method the toner step helps to increase hydration and the absorption of the rest of the products because that's really what my skin needs i've been obsessed with the jing jung sung soothing moisture skin essence this is technically an essence but it can also be used as a toner it's very similar to rihanna's fat water but it's more hydrating I like it better <laughs> the consistency is just like the fat water like I can barely get it out <laughs> but it's very thick it's literally like a fat water and I love applying this to my skin while it's cold that's why I keep it in my skincare fridge it has hyaluronic acid niacinamide uh, ceramides just a whole bunch of like skin barrier loving ingredients plus it, it just feels really good when you apply it to the skin and i'm just gonna press it so it absorbs because after this we're actually going to exfoliate you might be like why the heck are you going to exfoliate after you just toned but it's just going to help protect the skin from over drying which is what i need and as long as the toner absorbs completely it's not going to you're not going to lose the benefits from it by exfoliating afterwards. Plus we're gonna tone again after exfoliating anyway. So <laughs> you just wanna make sure that it's fully, fully absorbed. It's actually better to use a thinner toner because this one's very thick so it takes a while to absorb but I'm okay with that. I need all the hydration I can get especially since I'm introducing exfoliants into my skin routine now. So I'm probably only going to be exfoliating my skin like once or twice a week, no more than that. Before I was exfoliating like every day and my skin just doesn't need that. So my tone is pretty much absorbed. To exfoliate, I'm actually going to use the same exfoliator that she used in her video. This is a Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. It can be used daily, but again, I'm only gonna use it probably once or two times a week. Once or two, once or twice a week. So with this, it's actually an enzyme exfoliator. So it comes in a form of a powder and it looks like this. And to activate the product, you have to put water on it. I'm also gonna put some water on my skin. I'll be right back. So I just went ahead and put some water in it. And then as you can see, it kind of turns into a consistency like a cleanser. There are some like little tiny granules in it, but for the most part, it's pretty gentle and you can barely feel the exfoliating crystals, which I really like. I'm just going to apply this. And you don't wanna press too hard with this either because it is an exfoliator, so. You don't want to be too heavy handed with it. This next one says my boyfriend and I were able to get our first apartment together. Oh my God, I know that's so exciting. Finished grad school and got my degree. Congrats girl. College is no joke. And I know grad school is also not a joke. <laughs> Stolen Diamonds says I'm finally starting my own hair and skincare business. Oh my God, that's another thing. I feel like a lot of us black women are coming out of the woodworks with our businesses this year. It's so exciting. I mean, like they always say, Madam CJ Walker became a billionaire during the Spanish flu pandemic. So I wish you nothing but success in your new business. I'm gonna leave this on for like two seconds. Well, like 30 seconds, kind of like a mask, but not for too long because it's an enzyme exfoliator. So you don't wanna leave it on for too long. The Wandering Rose underscore says, my mom had a successful surgery and was healed well. I know surgery can be so scary. So I'm so happy that she was okay and it went well. Underscore G.M.L says, I'm still breathing. 
Same here, girl. Underscore Haley Maya says, I started my own business and joined a sorority. Congrats, another black owned business. And I also know joining a sorority is probably so exciting. I wanted to do it in college, but the sorority that I wanted to enter was suspended from my college, so. XO.itsrosie says, I got accepted at one of my dream universities and debt free. Oh my God, that's so good. Scholarship, full ride, you cannot complain. I also graduated debt free and listen, it is the best thing. It's like one of the number one things that people struggle with once they graduate, so. It's so good that you can pursue your education and not have to worry about paying it back afterwards. I'm gonna go rinse off this exfoliator and I'll be right back. One of the things that I really love about the micro exfoliant is that instantly, like instantly, you're gonna see and feel the results. My skin feels like glass right now. And I still have some texture that I'm dealing with that I'm trying to get rid of because with makeup, you can hide dark marks and you can hide certain acne, but the texture, you can see right through. So we're gonna go ahead and tone once again, this is to replenish the moisture that I may have lost from exfoliating and also to help with the absorption of the rest of our products. When I say LA Beautyologist changed the game for me when it comes to this, I literally tone after every single step now. Like, I'm gonna just press that in. Also, don't forget to stay hydrated, girls and guys. I cannot drink regular water now like i have to have lemon and cucumber in my water all right so next up we are going to mask and it's really important to use a mask that doesn't have heavy actives or that uses exfoliating ingredients because we're going to exfoliate later plus we just exfoliated so you don't want to exfoliate back to back i'm going to use a hydrating mask one of my favorite hydrating masks at the moment i love 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 this Bolden Glow Hydrating Mask. I mentioned this in my black owned business haul. As you guys can see, mine is low key empty. <laughs> During one of my most recent Amazon shopping sprees, I came across these silicone facial mask applicators. So I've been using this to apply my mask and I like to apply this mask cool as well cause oh, it's just something about applying jelly mask like this when they're cold. I still have some of this exfoliating powder down here. It feels so soothing on the skin, especially during the time where my skin was really irritated. Now it's not as irritated anymore, but before applying this, it was just like heaven. And it still, I mean, it still feels really good. Now I can't apply a jelly mask if it's not cold. Like sometimes um, I accidentally unplug my skincare fridge and I'd be so mad because <laughs> when I go to do my mask, the mask is not cold. So I will literally throw the mask in the freezer for a little bit. It changes the whole experience. Also masking after you exfoliate is really good too because when you exfoliate, you get rid of dead skin and you allow your mask to penetrate deeper into the skin, which allows the mask to work better. This next one is from Chocolate Angel Bay. She said, I bought and paid for a new car in full after riding in a rust bucket for three years. Congratulations, girl. Buying a new car is so exciting. Like, just the whole dealership experience and then driving home in your new car, especially after having the same car that you don't really like for so long. So congrats. This next one is from Alana Monique underscore. She said, finished grad school and established an amazing skincare routine. Again, I know that college is no joke especially grad school. One of my closest friends also graduated from grad school this year and she went through it. So I'm really happy that you got through that milestone and I'm happy that you were able to establish a new skincare routine. So was I. <laughs> this next one is from Olivia Kuyua or Olivia KUA. <laughs> she says, self-isolation allowed me to find myself and just focus on me. Same, honestly, like I actually found that being isolated has allowed me to realize that there are certain things that I wouldn't do without the influence of others. It's kind of crazy and it might sound bad because it kind of is bad, but it really does show you how your environment and the people you're around and the things that you do, they have a really big impact on how you do things. Like I said earlier, you get kind of used to just being in the same routine and being around the same people and just doing the same things because that's what you're used to and that's what you're comfortable doing. But being by yourself for so long, it really does open your eyes to see like, what do I really like? What really makes me happy? What things was I doing only because someone else was doing it or my friends was doing it? And honestly, even if you're someone who is very strong-willed and independent and you always do your own thing, I feel like there's still room to just 
analyze the things that you do based off of other people because it happens to all of us this next one is from black is beautiful and it says moved to a new state and received a job offer before i even moved that is really exciting especially in a time where there's so many people being laid off losing their jobs um not being able to buy a necessities for life and look at you moving to a new state and you got a new job that's major i hope you celebrate in the best way while still social distancing of course this next one is from Chantal baker it says i got to spend some much needed time with my family i wish that i could say the same but of course i'm still so far away from my family but i did get a lot of much needed time with my boyfriend we've been spending almost every day together in quarantine and at a time where there's so many people like getting a divorce and like spending time yelling at and being angry at their spouses or their people that they're in a relationship with it's really great to feel like you know i actually like these people that i'm around and get the opportunity to become closer to them so that's great this next one is in all caps it says finally lost weight bought my first car cleared my skin plus more i'm so happy that you literally have a list of things that you're grateful for and that happened to you this year i'm in my senior year of college and i got a new job and the work environment is so chill another example of getting a new job in a time where it's very hard so congrats and i'm glad that the work environment is so nice because I have had so many jobs that I hated and it's the worst. This next one is from XOXO Whitney and it says bringing my rainbow baby into the world best year of my life. I personally have never gone through a miscarriage but I can just tell as a woman the stress and the depression and everything that probably comes with going through that is the worst and so for you to welcome a beautiful baby girl or baby boy into this world after going through that i'm so happy for you and i'm wishing you and your new baby nothing but good health next one says got out of a toxic relationship in january and now i'm in a happy healthy relationship yes girl i'm so happy for you because in 2020 we're not dealing with no toxic men i'm gonna read one more before i go rinse off my face mask oh this next one is from r-h-e-e-e -E -E underscore s i'm not even gonna try to say that <laughs> but she says i passed the bar and i'm finally a lawyer i know so many people who are still struggling to pass that exam so i'm so happy for you and i'm wishing you nothing but success in your career as a lawyer we definitely need more black lawyers out here i really hope that you can make a big impact in our community through your career to rinse off my mask i'm just gonna take this warm towel slap it on and just like press it so that it kind of comes off but i can still get like all the benefits from the ingredients in the mask then we are just going to go back in again with our toner and i'm gonna press this in so right after your toner step you want to go in with a hydrating serum typically i use the peter thomas roth I use the Peter Thomas Roth uh, Water Drench Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I really like this serum, but Glow Recipe has a new Hyaluronic Acid Serum. It's their Plum Plump Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So I'm gonna use this for the first time today just cause I'm feeling fancy and I wanna try it out. But you can use any hydrating serum for this step. Hydrating serums and hydrating toners work really well together because hydrating toners help to obviously put water and humectants into your skin and then the hydrating serum kind of just grabs onto it and absorbs into the skin better so i'm just going to press this in and it feels really good it feels really similar to the peter thomas roth one it also smells good i think glow recipe does have a tad bit of fragrance in it but it's not synthetic fragrance so i'm not angry but if you want a fragrance free option the peter thomas roth one is fragrance free and this one is 75 percent hyaluronic acid so it's legit i really do feel like this helps to make my skin feel more plump you also always want to apply your hydrating serums before you apply an active serum or a serum that has exfoliating properties or heavy actives just again to protect the skin and make sure that it doesn't over dry and because hydrating serums help your active serums to penetrate better into the skin. That's something else that I also wasn't doing before. I would just literally exfoliate my skin and then go right in with an exfoliating serum. Like, it was just way too much. This has changed my whole outlook on the way I do my skincare routine. While I'm pressing this in, let's look at some more positivity. This next one is from Burgundy3780 says i got closer to god than i ever been before in my whole life i'm so happy to see all these posts dealing with positive um growth and spirituality we have three 
oh yeah four from the same person says got back into law school made a big girl purchase and now i have a car in my name finally bought a macbook and obtained a leadership position at work looks like 2020 is actually your year girl show off we got another person moving on up it says i was finally able to get a job after three years as an event planner assistant i know how stressful it could be to feel like you know you could be doing more or you're not properly being compensated for what you're doing or you just feel like you deserve to be at a different level so i'm happy through the midst of all this madness you were able to level up so this next step is where you would apply any serums that have actives like i said this was a huge mistake that i was making before i wasn't putting any hydration into my skin i was just exfoliating and then using hella exfoliating or hella active serums or toners i'm gonna start introducing the pharmacy honeymoon glow serum into my skin routine this serum has gentle ahas and it has hydrating honey and gentle flower acids and of course it's a resurfacing serum so it's going to exfoliate and honestly there really is a huge difference applying these exfoliating serums after your hydration the skin just feels more prepped and ready for it and now that i'm at a point where my skin is pretty healthy again i can focus on getting rid of the dark marks and in order to do that i'm gonna have to use you know exfoliating products Ugh, this serum smells so good and i like that it is so active but it's still very hydrating with the honey let's look at some more we have a lot of people saying that they bought their first car I noticed that there were a lot of like really good deals right now for new cars but like they're giving a whole bunch of months free well not free but they're like delaying payments you can buy a new car and not make your first payment for like the first six months or so which is really good naturally kai got engaged that's so exciting i'm trying to get like you girl because my ring finger is still empty oh crystal i don't know how to pronounce the rest but crystal e-x-i-n-e -E, says new music Yes, I agree. There's a lot of new music that I've discovered being in quarantine that's really exciting. It can make you feel better when you're not feeling good. Kenny underscore proud delivered a healthy baby boy. Congratulations. Adore underscore Aaliyah says, I'm alive, period, period. Okay, I pretty much have the serum um, completely pressed into my skin. So now we're gonna go into my moisturizer. I'm gonna use my fave at the moment, which is the Lord Jones Acid Mental, Acid Mental acid mental repair cbd moisturizer this bad boy really helped with repairing my skin it's actually designed to help with um repairing the moisture barrier i've been using it so much that it's almost empty i'm like praying that lord jones will send me another one but honestly speaking if they don't send me another one i am still gonna buy it because it's that good this moisturizer has so many like key ingredients for strengthening the moisture barrier. And honestly, like as soon as I apply it to my skin, it just feels so good. I cannot like believe that I love this so much because typically before my skin was acting crazy, I never liked heavy moisturizers, but this one, oh, it just feels so good. Let's read a few more while I apply my royal oil. LA Beautyologists suggest that you either follow up with a facial oil to seal everything in or you can use a uh, ointment or anything that's an occlusive that will help seal everything in and protect the skin. I was using this for a while when my skin was first like going through its whole phase but now I've just transitioned to using a facial oil and this is the royal oil also by Laura Jones. It's also like a CBD oil but it also has grapeseed oil in it. While I apply this I'm gonna go ahead and read a few more positive things about this year. Kyla says she let go of fear and started her YouTube channel and an online store. She said 2020 is still my year. I feel like people that decided early on this year that it's not gonna be their year they ended up not doing anything because they spoke that into the universe. But for you and me and tons of other people that just pushed through with a positive mindset, it was still our year. Michaela says she graduated college and became an RN all in a pandemic. Yes, anything is possible if you put your mind to it. Hello Brittany underscore says, paid off my car and started investing. If you currently don't invest in anything, I highly recommend like looking into it and seeing Wow, how it could benefit you the good thing about like stocks is that you don't really have to do anything to make the money but i know with like forex and those other uh trade systems you have to actively do things so just depends on your preference i also noticed that a lot of people said that they saved a lot of money 
which I did too, like especially towards the end of this year now, it just really opens your eyes to how much we spend like on nothing. And I feel like it just motivated me to be like, okay, I'm spending money on a whole bunch of nothing. Let me just start a savings. And when I did, I have been saving so much. Last but not least, Nay underscore uplifting says, appreciating the fact that I've always been a homebody and there's nothing wrong with that. Girl, me too. There have been so many times where I like forced myself to go out just cause my friends were going out or because I didn't want to look a certain way. But honestly speaking, like, I really like being in the house. Especially because, you know, you guys know I work from home, so I make my money at home. I feel the most comfortable being home. And there's really nothing at all wrong with that. I saw this post on Instagram that said, all the rules are fake, do you? And I couldn't agree with that more. Like, sometimes you just gotta walk in your own lane and do your own thing. So that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope I could bring some positivity to your day. Again, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm almost at 300K and I'm so excited about it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Those really helped me out. I'm gonna link LA Videologist's video down below too if you guys wanna check out like her in-depth video on this self-care routine. And hopefully I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye.